Hi guys! Welcome to our bat sharing. Ready na ba yung mag-share for today? Yes, ready na. Hala, wait lang. Patang konti natin. Apat lang tayo. Ah, uh, there's many assignments siguro. Oh nga eh, may ahabol pa kaya? Wala na yata makakunta. Marami nagnong sa group chat natin. Ah, sad naman. Tutuloy pa ba natin? Sige lang, sabi naman sa Bible na when two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, He will be in the midst of them. Kaya sige, start mo na. Hindi ganyan. Janaya, nagsishare ka na ba? Hello, hindi pa. Kala ko nga ikaw yung nagsasalita eh. Oh, ba yun? Ayan? Chutik? No, ha? Uy, uy, ganyan. Nakatakot. Naku, ikaw kasi Justine. Kung ano na sinasabi mo. Guys, calm down. Ako lang to. Uy, ayun na naman. Nakatakot na ako ah. Lord, ikaw ba yan? Hindi. Ako. Sino ka? Sino ka? Uh, hi, I'm Miss Coated and you're using Matthew 18.20 wrong. Miss Coated? Jutik, di ba kurento mo sa akin dati? Oo oh, nga no, pre. Ay, Miss Coated. Ba't ka lang nag-iba yung mo? Oh, hi. I remember you. Di ba, Ale? Ako pa rin to. And just like how I explained Philippians 4.13 to you, I'm here to help your friend learn Matthew 18.20. Have you ever been in this kind of situation where you use Bible verses to encourage others? Even though it's really great to encourage other people with God's word, it's still important to understand the meaning of the verse and its context before using them. Hi, I'm Miss Coded and I'm here to help you understand the context of Miss Coded Bible verses. Matthew 18.20 is usually quoted as an encouragement to one another when there is low attendance in worship services, fellowships, or in this case, prayer meetings. But again, you have to know the whole context of the passage before using it. You don't just take a verse out of context just because it sounds good or it fits your situation. Matthew 18.20 actually falls specifically within the context of church discipline and dealing with rebellious believers. It is meant to be an encouragement to church leaders during tough times of loving confrontation to say that God will be present with the two to three witnesses as they are intentional in correcting and restoring a fallen brother or sister. Again, let's look at the previous verses. If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault, just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen, even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Then, verse 20 follows, For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Jesus instructs the church, that's us, to act in wisdom when it comes to church matters. In this case, church discipline. This is to preserve the integrity of the church while maintaining a spirit of love and gentleness. The responsibility of church discipline is to be handled by church leaders, people who are also vulnerable to commit the same mistakes they are rebuking. That is why Matthew 18 20 gives so much comfort to the church. It assures us that Jesus will be in our midst whenever his imperfect church will be handling Christ's mandated discipline to its members. And God already promised that he will always be with us, whether we're alone or with others, so we don't really have to use Matthew 18.20 the wrong way. Ah, yun pala meaning ng Matthew 18.20. Di ko kasi nabasa yung previous passages eh. Sorry guys. Hello, uh, it's okay lang. We're here to learn naman. And kaya nga may sharing time para we can 
sharing from each other and encouragement. Grabe! Thank you very much, Miss Cotton. Marami yung natutunan ulit sa'yo. Thank you very much. Oo oh, nga. Thank you, Miss Cotton. Di ko na pala need mag-share. Anong hindi na? Mag-share ka pa rin, no? Ay, okay. Okay, looks like my work here is done. Bye, guys! Bye! Thank you, Miss Cotton. Ayan, start na! Hi guys, pwede pa bang humabol? Yes, pwede, oo pwede. naman. Okay, so my sharing for today is 